atrophy is defined as wasting away caused by shrinkage in size of cells and this causes a reduction in the size of the tissue organ or part of the body atrophy may be physiological where it arises as a normal consequence of development or pathological for example as a result of a disease process so when atrophy occurs the size of the cells is reduced but this may also be accompanied by loss of cells and when loss of cells occurs this is usually as a result of programmed cell death due to apoptosis and if you want to know more about apoptosis here is a link to the video Physiological atrophy occurs at two stages in life, the first being embryonic and developmental stages, and this is when primitive structures such as the branchial clefts, notochord, thyroglossal, malarian, unwolfian ducts, ductus arteriosus and thymus, etc. start to disappear. And in later adulthood and old age, structures that become atrophic include the uterus, endometrium, testes, lymphoid tissue, brain, muscle and bone. Causes of pathological atrophy include hypoxia where there is decreased blood flow for example as a result of atherosclerosis where the arteries become narrowed due to plaques of atheroma and pressure damage for example pressure sores resulting in thinning of the skin. Loss of function due to immobility or nerve damage may result in atrophy of the muscles. Loss of hormone stimulation and poor nutrition may result in atrophy. And also atrophy could be iatrogenic, for example, with application of topical corticosteroids causing thinning of the skin. And here are some examples of atrophy. This is a section of heart muscle from an elderly person and you can see that some of the heart muscle fibres are brown in colour and this is an example of brown atrophy. The brown pigment is lipofuscin and the atrophy is physiological as a result of old age. This is a condition called scleroderma where the skin becomes sclerosed or fibrosed resulting in damage to the blood vessels causing the overlying epidermis to become thinned and atrophic as a result of hypoxia because it becomes starved of blood. And here is an example of lichen sclerosis. An older term for it is lichen sclerosis et atrophicus because of the atrophy of the overlying epidermis. This is a section of skeletal muscle from an unfortunate patient with motor neurone disease and you can see that the muscle has been largely replaced by fat but the remaining muscle fibres have become thinned and atrophic as we can see on the right hand side of the picture. This is vanishing testis syndrome where some insult to the testis occurred during development resulting in atrophy and eventual loss of testicular structures where all that remains are hemosiderin deposits, foci of calcification and a fibrous nubbin. Yeah.